All right, everyone, I'm going to do a quick um, video on how to answer multiple choice questions. I want you to practice with me. This won't be long. I will link it to a more lengthier um, video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, although this has to do with the MAP program, Medication Administration Program course, my tip on how to answer multiple choice is great for nursing assistants as well, CNAs, RNs, anyone, because all of these certificate programs have a multiple choice component. So the first step, and although you can't do it here, is to cover your answers. So on most um, things, you either have a test on paper or you have it on a computer. If it's on a computer, you can show the evaluator like a blank index card to show that you're not um, cheating and hold it up to the screen. So with question number two, I'm gonna talk to you about the tips and then I'll go to question number three and actually implement it. Now you need to answer multiple choice questions in about a minute to a minute and a half is pushing it. 60 seconds to 90 seconds. So all of these books with like 13, 20 tips, it's like you just don't have enough time to implement it. So let's get going. And then when we get to question number three, I'll actually put my timer on. And this is how you're to go through all of your practice tests, whatever it is you're studying. Um, to see if you're able to do this process in about 60 seconds, okay? Um, all right, so um, the first thing would be to cover your answers um, with your finger and read the question. When outgoing staff provide information to incoming staff, this is known as, and what you're doing is letting your brain formulate an answer. The reason you have to do this is because if when you move your finger or the index card, if what you thought of is not there, then you have a problem. You have misunderstood something about the question. And that's a good indicator to know because that's gonna immediately prompt you to reread the question. So I know covering the options is like an old tip that's been around, but a lot of people don't really know what for, okay? The options A, B, C, D are designed to deceive you. So you need your brain to formulate an answer without falling for deception. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two, you come up with an answer. So when outgoing staff provide information to incoming staff, this is known as um, shift report, right? And so then when I look, when you move, you see if what you thought is there. Then, so here shift changing is similar, even though I said shift report. But then what I would do now is that I created a model called um, confusion to conclusion. It's when you take what you believe is the correct answer and put it in front of the question. Let me put my little annotations on. Um, put it in front of the question to see if it is correct. So shift changing is when outgoing staff provide information to incoming staff, okay? So you see that the question, even though this isn't posed as a question with a question mark, the correct answer will actually change a question mark, confusion to a period conclusion, meaning that there are no further um, questions to be asked, all right? It made it a conclusive statement. You would say to yourself, is this a conclusive statement? Um, and so if you notice, everything else won't read. Everyday reporting is when outgoing staff provide information to incoming staff, all right? But that's every day. This is really talking about outgoing and incoming. Um, staff changing, that doesn't fit because it's not using the word like the shift um, changing, right? Or everyday recanting, okay? So then you do that, put what you believe is the right answer, put it in front of the question because the correction and the correct answer should be a complete thought. The question and the correct answer should be a complete thought, okay? So at this moment, we're not worried about grammar. And then after that, the last one is, um, let me change the color. You always, your brain, if your brain wants to choose B, it will always make be correct, it will provide a rationale as to why B is correct. Um, and then most people choose the answer that they think is correct, and then they move on. But if you are saying B is correct, you're thereby saying A, C, and D is incorrect. So people never um, verbalize or rationalize 
why am I eliminating this, okay? They always just say, why am I choosing an option? So say if you um, were gonna say that A is correct, right? You have to say why B is incorrect, why C is incorrect, why D is incorrect. And if you get stuck on providing a rationale for why one of the options are incorrect, then you're probably about to make an error. So those are my steps to answering every single multiple choice question. So let's see how fast we can do it um, on the next option. Oh, my phone's blowing up. Okay, let me go to the next question. And what I'm gonna do is actually turn my timer on and you guys could follow along with me now obviously because you're watching a video it'll be different but when i tutor students and train them this is what you're going to do when you get those practice um, exams. It's not enough to do well on a practice test and then people are like well I failed the exam. Well you sat there and took three minutes for a question and you did get it right but you didn't get it right in the time frame allotted so when you are doing practice exams you have to look at the speed at which you um answer it and you pass as well okay so let me go to the next one and i'm gonna hit start on my thing okay communicating without delay as soon as possible after a change is observed is known as um, I would say like urgent reporting or immediate reporting, right? If my options were covered, I remove my index card or my finger and I see that there's an immediate reporting. So then I would select that. I would see if it would work if I put it in front. Immediate reporting um, is communicating without delay as soon as I possible, as soon as possible after a change is observed. That's a period. Um, so I would say that it fits that model confusion to conclusion. So I feel comfortable with that. And then I would eliminate before I moved on, why am I eliminating everything else? Weekly reporting is not as soon as possible um, because that's seven days. Daily reporting still doesn't fit this as soon as possible because I could have, it still could be like 10 hours from now. And prescribed reporting, in what I've studied, I've never heard of prescribed reporting. So I've ran it through my test and I feel comfortable. And that's a minute and eight um, seconds. So that's 68 seconds. So just to show you that um, there are a minute and a minute and a half is a really long time. And now it was longer because I was kind of speaking out loud and teaching. So I hope this is helpful. I'm gonna try to find my other video um, that's more in depth about answering multiple choice questions. All right, take care, bye.